Hi friends, I am Uday Sagar Kanpal and today I would like to talk about next quadratic time algorithm that is bubble sort. We have already completed insertion sort and bubble sort is one of the easiest algorithms that is in picture. It takes quadratic time, two loops to sort the array and it can be efficient to use when we have a small array size or a small size to sort. So those who are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Those who like my video in the end, please do press the like button. And those who want my notifications, press on the bell icon. So let's start. We, we will now create a new class, bubble sort to begin with. Now we will create the main function. We have created the main function. Now since we have already created this print array function in the insertion sort, we will now copy paste the same and we will now create bubble sort function now we will simply press we can create int n equal to array dot len minus 1 n i plus plus and for in j equal to 0 j smaller than n minus i j plus plus so we will define in of say boolean is swapping more and set that this to false and we will here create a condition if is swap not swapping more Create this outer loop. Now we will have the condition if array so if array of j is greater than array of j plus one, we need to swap. Is swapping more would be true for this isolation. So int temp equal to array of j array of j equal to array of j plus 1 and array of j plus 1 would now be equal to temp since array of j plus array of j is already replaced so now we need to return this array here and since we have written the array rather than the status of sorting done say int array now let's create an array 3 6 so now this looks like an unsorted array so we can try to sort this array using the bubble sort oh wow the array is sorted so let's have some negative numbers also in the array Minus thousand, minus two, one, two, three, six, eight. There is sorted. Thanks for watching my video. This is the code for the bubble sort.